What's up guys? Um, out here in my garage, it's uh, a jumbled mess as it normally is. Um, got a new project, haven't talked about, so uh, just gonna dive right into it. So if you follow my channel or you watch <clears throat> consistently, you know that um, I've mentioned that I sold my boat. Um, I had a 19 foot center console and um, loved it. Uh, absolutely loved it, but we moved here to Texas. Uh, a little good ways from the water. Um, I have a truck to pull it, but it's a nice truck and it's not one that I really want to dip in the salt water. Um, long story short, before we moved, I actually traded my, my old blue truck that some of you, if you know me, you know it's, that was my pride and joy uh, as much as my Jeep is, if not more. So I traded it to a, a guy with some cash for a car for my daughter. Uh, just because it was the right thing to do. I had to make a lot of decisions uh, for this move to Texas that I didn't really want to do, but it was the right thing, and it was the right time. Um, so she needed a car. I didn't want to spend any extra money. We were about to move, whatnot. So came over. Uh, don't have that truck. Had my Jeep. My Jeep could not pull a 19-foot center console. It was a heavy boat. The hull, I think, was like 4,500 pounds uh, on, a, on an aluminum trailer. Yeah, it just it just wasn't working, and we'll buy. I'm I'm gonna buy another one later. There's no doubt in my mind. My wife wants a bigger one. Yeah, need here and there. We'll figure it out. I'm either gonna get a really big one or get another one about that size that's really nice, uh, something a little nicer than what I had. Either way, <clears throat> um, so I kayak fish, or I try, I attempt to kayak fish. Uh, I do fish out of a boat a lot better than I do out of the kayak because I just haven't you know found my my knack yet. Um, so what I decided to do, I used to have a boat. Um, I don't think I ever made a video about it ever. Uh, way back, I, I videoed me driving to, uh, driving a good ways after work one night to pick up the trailer in the, uh, stinking wheel. I woke up the next morning after driving home late, woke up the next morning to walk out and the wheel was like laying on the ground almost. Uh, because the bear had just slung all the pieces. Apparently it had done it like right before I got home and I didn't notice it. Um, but anyway, so long story short, I uh, decided to uh, reach out to my friend John Mills. I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, appreciate it. I uh, reached out to him just to see if he was interested in selling the boat. I had sold the boat after I, I got it and made it usable, put a motor on it, rebuilt the motor. Uh, Put a trolling motor on it, whole nine yards. Um, it wasn't anything pretty, and I didn't, it's not planning to be anything pretty. I'm not planning on doing any kind of restore. I'm literally fixing to put uh, put a little effort into an old beater boat uh, so I can go take it out in the marsh or, or somewhere in the shallows. Uh, this is not a boat you take in the chop at all. Uh, it's not something I'm gonna be out in the middle of a lake on a windy day, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, it is a two person only light, rigging you know or just take a boat ride kind of deal so <clears throat> um i don't even have a picture of the boat right now it's not here at my house it's at the storage but i got the motor here uh so when i sold it to my buddy it's basically sat in his yard he never he never cranked the motor he only used it in a lake and used the trolling motor uh so <laughs> i spent a lot of money getting this uh motor redone uh three years ago and uh he, he hasn't run it since so i sold it to him all good uh, he sold it back to me for a uh, hundred less than I sold it to him, which was awesome on his part. Uh, that's what great friends do. But anyway, got it home. I just knew that I was fixing to have to just overhaul it again and go through the carbs. Uh, I drained the bowl, nothing come out. Apparently, my memory serves me. I used to run it out of fuel uh, before I would put it in the yard because it just sat out in the yard most of the time. And I was scared of it getting gummed up because I spent so much money to have it, you know, reworked and rewired and new packs and everything that I've done. Because it's like a 1984 Evan Rude. Uh, anyway, talking a lot. It's four minutes. <laughs> anyway, got it home, uh, hauled it all the way from Mississippi to Texas. Um, still got to fight that battle of registration over here, but you know, who cares? Nothing else. I'll register back in Mississippi because I'm going back anyway. Um, the carbs were clean. I, put, I drained the bowl, nothing come out. Hooked the gas up to it, immediately, you know, filled and run out. Uh, flushed it lightly, uh, pumped the, the bulb, and uh, decided to uh, 
hit the start button. It's electric start. Another cool thing about it. I mean, it fired right off. Literally fired right off. I don't think it turned over twice before it cranked, which is amazing to me. Um, not really an outboard guy, so I've, I'm learning. I've filled with a, a, a Johnson. Um, I had a 40 horse way back, way back. Uh, messed with it lightly, but it had its issues. So I got to tinker with it. The only thing I found wrong is because it set up the uh, the impeller, the water pump impeller, had uh, come all to pieces. So I am changing that out, and I've got the part to do it. Um, it just came in. So what I have is this uh, 19, there's the cover right there, the little blue thing. Um, it's a 1984, 85-ish. Um, I gotta look at the numbers again. Motor, um, and I took the foot off, and I'm looking for the impeller, and I don't see it right now. But anyway, I got it all taken apart. Um, really easy to do. Uh, there's just there's uh, six bolts right here, which two of mine are broken off. Uh, that's the way it was, so I'm assuming it's okay to put it back together that way. If you uh, if you know better, tell me better. Uh, is, is that something I need to go to a machine shop and have them drill out? Uh, because it's stainless into aluminum, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to ruin it getting it out. So I haven't fooled with it. I'm not going to. Um, but it worked fine for me before. I'm hoping it'll continue to work fine for me. And that's where the uh, pump goes. <laughs> I just put a brand new prop on. It's got mold on it. Um, got mall screwing so uh, let me get gloved up and reset and uh, I'll show you this alright so I don't know if you can see this real well um, gotta get out of the light that's the impeller and it come all to pieces um, this is the uh, assembly here that I took out all of this will get replaced. I really don't know if I need to replace the whole thing. I guess I should since I got the parts. Um, but yeah, there it is. And yeah, very wicked. Four stainless steel bolts. Um, not a whole lot to it. All the nastiness away. like there was I don't know if there was a gas there was no gasket on here as far as the, the overall part uh, there was only you know, this water pump area um, all right first thing is this plate it goes down like so please I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little keyway. I just used some grease to hold it in place. And running this down. To align it. Alright. Put a little grease inside that portion. Let's see, it's going to be like that. <laughs> that worked good. Greased up the inside, rotated as I push down in the proper direction. Hope you can see that. All right. Um, get this going. I got four brand new screws, uh, bolts, sorry, to put in. I don't know what size they are. Quarter, they look like quarter 20. Uh, not completely sure. But it comes with them in the kit. I would, uh, I would advise just buying a whole new kit if I were you. That way you know all your seals. Not which I mean I've never done this before. It's not like I'm speaking from experience. 
I'm only speaking from this experience. So these are 7 16 heads. Everything else seems to be 3 8 This large O-ring um, goes over the top. I think I'm going to give it a little dab of grease in there just to grease never hurt anything, right? All right, this O-ring, tiny little O-ring. I can see a groove right there towards where something's been riding. And it came in the kit and it calls for an O-ring. So I can only assume that that's where this goes. And I also saw to put a little grease here. I'm sure it calls for something special, but a little axle grease never hurt anything. A marine goop. All right, I think I think I'm ready to reassemble. Take out the shifting bolt that holds the shifter together. Uh, Got to remember what position it was in. So the shaft goes up through here. The little rubber piece where the water goes out goes over that nipple right there. And this is your shifting linkage. Let's go see in the distance, I'm sure. I've got this nut driver, three eighths. You basically gotta leave yourself enough room to get in here. And that bolt has gotta come back out, right? Um, I don't know if I'm saying right. If you agree with me, I'm telling you that it does. Um, this one, almost like it's been drilled out before. It's very freaking shallow. Ranch doesn't fit it, which is weird. To, uh, <laughs> I had to go get the boat. You can't see it very well, but there it is. It's a 14 foot fiberglass little skiff. I mean, it's in rough shape, but it's solid. That's what I like about it. It's, um, yeah, you can't see anything. So, it's all right. I'll show you around. I got some adjustments to do on the trailer. It's sagging a little bit, but good news is the uh, motor repair worked. So I'm trying to motor. I don't have a gas hooked up. I was just running the fuel out. That's it guys, wrapping this one up. Hope you learned something, because I sure did.